Hello Tinies. Today we're going to start our lesson checking your memories, which were very good last time I checked them. So let's hope they're as good today. I'm going to hold up some cards and ask different ones of you to tell me the sound made by that letter. Okay, so the first letter for today is That's right, it's W. W for watch. W for watch. And of course, W for that great big animal that lives in the sea called a whale. And today, where I'm sitting, there's lots of lovely sunshine coming in a W for window. Okay. So our next letter, ah, ah, very important one. What sound does this one make? Remember I've said my favorite fruit? That's it, it's app for apple, an app for axe. Going well so far, aren't we? Okay. Oh, oh yes, and this one that looks just like, the, there's an animal that looks this shape and makes a sound that begins with this. That's it, S for sun, which was coming in that work for window, wasn't it? Okay, now, what one is this one? That's right, it is K, K for kettle and K for kiss and K for king and K for key, which we need, we don't want to lock ourselves outside. Oh, and look at this, I can see, there you go, that's right, the other k sound, the other k sound. Begins different words though, this one has cat and cuddle. And I think we've looked at this, haven't we? Sometimes on the end of words, we have these two twinnies, they make the same sound, so we're calling them twins, but they, they sit together on the end, and we never go k k on the end, do we? We just make one sound, Good. Now, oh, here was the one we had a sad story about, but it ended happily, didn't it? What sound does this one make? Yes, that's right. K, k. Remember, if we say it slowly, k and s. And do you remember? Oh, yes, the alphabet wanted to get rid of it. They said we didn't need it. But however, it's still there. K. S. Now. Ah, yes. What I've been looking at recently in the backyard, the b -b backyard, is a game where we use two things that start with this sound. That's right. B, b for bat and b for ball. There's our bat and there's our ball both sitting on the ground. Good. Excellent, excellent. Mmm. Half of you love this letter, I know. That's right. <laughs> yes, it's G for girl. Quite right. And G for grapes. They're delicious, aren't they? And we read a story about a zoo. And one of the animals at the zoo is a big animal called a gorilla. Hmm? Oh, and a very recent one. Remember that one? That's right. Z for zigzag. And look at it. Z z z zigzagging along. And I remember it was Woody, I think, who had a beautiful jacket with a zip right down the front. Z for zip. Mm hmm. Ah, yes. I know Nick loves a story that has this sound in it. What is it? Ah, yes, that's right. Y. Yeah. Y yeah, for yellow. And this one. Mm. This one. What's that one? In fact, I'm going to read a story today that has an animal that starts with this sound. That's right. D for duck. D for duck. Well done. That's very good memories. I like it when your memories are working well. So, 
If your memories are working well, let's check your ears. Uh -huh. We'll do a couple of good ears and then we'll go on to number ears because as number ears I've been finding, you need to learn to listen a bit better. So let's have a go. First of all though, um, r u f that's right, roof. And remember we had the, we said there were animals in this park, sort of a place called a zoo. Was that one? Zoo, quite right. Now let's look at some action. Jog. That's it, jog. What about a hop? That's right, hop. Now though, let us go on to number ears. How many sounds in this letter? Do you remember Tiny as I was saying the other day? When we talk, we put our talking sounds down on the paper when we write. So writing is putting our talking sounds down. But if you can't hear the sounds, well, how can you put them down on the paper? So it's very important to learn and hear all the different sounds. So let's try this one. How many sounds in the word jump? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, not three, not jump. That's right, four. J -a -m -p. That's it. Now, some of you like making a noise. Well, an instrument with which you can make a lot of noise is a drum. Now, how many sounds are there in drum? No, 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 not three. Listen again. Drum. How many? That's it. Four. D -r -a -m, drum. Let's try another dr. Let's try another dr. I know. The tap was left on a little bit and it started to drip. How many sounds in drip? Aha, now you're good, aren't you? Yes, four's right. Dr, ip, drip. Very good indeed. So let's try another dr one because sometimes people think that's just one sound, but it's not, is it? It's dr dr. Okay, let's try this one. It was very heavy. The parcel was very heavy, so I had to drag it. How many sounds in drag? Ah, you're very good now. That's exactly right. Four dr ag drag. Great. Well, let's leave it at that for today, but I can see your ears really improved as we went along. Because remember, when we write, we write our sounds onto the page. We have to be able to hear the sounds. Well done. Before we play our good breaks game to decide which letter we're doing today, first of all, I want you to look at all of these letters. 26 and we call them the alphabet, don't we? Now up above the 26 I have written A, E, I, O, U. All say that please. A, E, I, O, U. They're named. What about the sounds of the five up here? A, E, I, O, A. Could you say those with me please? A, E, I, O, A. Remember what they are called, just the five? All of these 26 are called the alphabet and the five are called? Yes, that's right, vowels. Now, we're going to play good breaks, but later we are going to need to come back and have a look because if you remember again, sometimes one of those vowels doesn't behave as we think it would. So we'll be looking at that later. But first of all, what letter are we doing today? Let's sing all the names, 26 names of the letters, and then we'll go on to good breaks. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Lovely. Do you have those breaks ready? Okay, so now we'll go quite fast. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q. Uh oh. Someone's breaks didn't work, but most breaks did work, so that's good. The letter Q. Now, sometimes we say, shh, quiet, quiet, shh. And other times we might say, be quick, quick. And I don't know about you, but it's been quite cold. Oh, look quite cold recently so I have had in my bed I have had to put on an extra qu quilt a quilt is another name for a doona yes so we've got quiet and quick and quack and uh, what else do we have quilt that's right so what sound do you think qu <laughs> what a silly thing I am. What sound do you think the letter Q makes? I gave it away, didn't I? That's right, though. Qu Very good indeed. Now, so far, so good. Oh, first of all, yes. Is the letter Q, the sound Q, tall, short, or hanging? That's right, it is a hanging letter. And as well as that, it is an around the face letter, isn't it? Starting on this ear here and going around the face back to the ear we started and then ooh, down through the floor. That's right. So I'll show you here on the board how we do that. So here is our pretend floor, here is our pretend roof. So just below the roof we start, pretending that that's an ear, over the top of the head to the other ear, down under the chin, back to where we started, then woo, down through the floor, and Sometimes I used to think it was like the queen, for queen, who liked dancing, and so she gave her leg a little kick up. So you get like that. Let's try again. Around from the ear, over the head to the other ear, down under the chin, back to where we started, down through the floor. Ooh. And Queenie kicks her leg up. One more. Remember, it's an around the face letter and it's a hanging letter. So here we go on the ear, up over the head, past the other ear, down under the chin, back to where we started. Whoops. Oh, that's right. Now, do you remember I put these vowels up here? Because I have something to tell you. Normally, this one, A E I O U, is well behaved. The ones we often have to look out for, particularly, is this one and this one. But mm, generally, the A, uh, up for umbrella, the letter U, is well behaved. But let me tell you what happens now. I don't know why this is so, but I will have to tell you, whenever we write the letter Q, a Q, guess what happens? The U always, 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 always comes and sits with it. Always. But do you know what? Doesn't say anything. It's what we call silent. So the letter Q is always followed by a silent U. 
Now have a look at this. Remember I said I'm a bit cold at night and I had to get an extra quilt? Will you watch this? Quirk, yes, quirk. Shh. E. O. T. Quirk. Silent you. E. O. T. Maybe this one here, the E. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? And I'll go over the all two. Qu e all two. And we are going to read a story that has a duck in it, so I think we should write quack. Qu. No, that's right. Remember, after a Q, there is always a silent U. So, so far, so far if we're sounding, although we've written qu and a, q and u, we only sound qu. Now we're doing quack, remember? So that's qu, a, k. We never go qu, a, k, k. No, 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 just qu, a, k. And we might as well do one more because I can see you're doing very well now. So we have qu, silent a, silent u, qu, i, k, quick. That's right. So remember that the big thing today, or well, two big things really, this is the sound qu, which is a hanging letter and an around the face letter, and the letter q is always followed by a silent U. And silent means you write it, but you do not sound it. So let's have a sing now about our sound qu. Qu for Queen. Now, open your folder. for Queen. Now listen while I sing. Well done. 
So our special story for Quip today is called Alexander's Outing. And it's by an author you may have heard before, Pamela Allen. I think she always writes lovely stories. And it's about these animals here, ducks. And do you remember what sound we said a duck makes? Yes, quack, quack. And I have a quack here for you. So here is our qu, remember, and around the face letter, but a hanging letter. And also remember that qu is always, always followed by a sh, silent u. So we just go qu. And that's why I've written just a line underneath to remind you that we don't go qu ah. We just go qu. Then we have our a, qu a, and then we have our k. So qu a k, qu a k. And again, one line here to, to remind you that although we have our two k letters, we only make one k sound. So that's our word quack. So this story about Alexander the duck, who goes quack, takes place in Sydney. And in fact, you can see the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Sydney is a big city in Australia. We live in Melbourne, but Alexander lived in Sydney. Alexander lived with his mother and his four brothers and sisters in the beautiful, most beautiful place in the world, of Sydney. But Alexander's mother was bored. So one warm sunny morning they all set out in search of adventure. They went past the bottle tree. They went through the iron gate and along Art Gallery Road. Stay close! Take care! quacked Alexander's mother but Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straggled behind with his head in the air. In College Street, a man rushed out and stopped the traffic. Stay close, take care, quacked, qu -qu quacked Alexander's mother. But Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straddled behind and he did not hear. By the time they reached the other side, oh, Alexander had gone. Alexander had disappeared. Quack, 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 quack. Alexander's mother quacked and quacked. Alexander, Alexander. And all his brothers and sisters quacked and quacked and flapped and flapped. But they couldn't find Alexander anywhere. When they stopped making such a noisy din, they heard a faint and distant quack, quack, from deep down in the earth. Oh, a young man and a middle-aged lady came to see what was going on. Quack, quack, quack. The young man tried to reach Alexander, but his long arms were not long enough. Quack, quack, quack. The middle-aged lady had an umbrella. So the young man tried again with his long arms and the umbrella, but they weren't long enough either. And all the duckies are going quack, 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 quack. A young couple, a man and a woman, picnicking in Hyde Park, which is a beautiful park in Sydney, heard all the commotion. They packed up their basket and came over to see what all the fuss was about. Oh, how are we going to get him out? The middle-aged lady asked. The young couple had no 
idea. Oh, cheer up, they called, and they dropped a half-eaten sandwich down the hole. A policeman arrived. He knew exactly what to do. He lowered his whistle down the hole on the end of a long piece of string. Here, he shouted to Alexander, grab hold of this. But Alexander did not grab hold. Alexander did not hear. A small boy and his mother joined the crowd. A very weak and feeble quack, quack, came from deep down the hole. How were they going to get him out? Then, before anyone could stop him, the small boy tipped his drink down the hole. Yeah! Now you've gone and drowned the poor little blighter, shouted the young man with the long arms. They all tried to peer down the dark hole to see. Everybody started talking at once. They all wanted to rescue Alexander, but how were they going to do it? But from their basket, the young picnickers handed out two cups, two plastic bags, one lunchbox and one thermos flask and the small boy still had his empty can. Then, ducks and all, they pranced in a long snaky line to the Archibald Fountain. That's a beautiful fountain in the middle of Hyde Park in Sydney. Now, dipping and tipping and dipping and tipping, skipping and dripping, quacking and flapping, dripping and skipping, from the fountain to the hole and back again they danced and the duckies are all going quack, quack, quack. Slowly the water rose. Up and up and up until out popped Alexander like a cork out of a bottle. His mother flapped and flapped and quick qu quacked and quacked and all his brothers and sisters flapped and flapped and quacked and quacked. Oh, such joyful qu quacking, such happy flapping. When the celebrations were over, they set off still quacking and flapping back across College Street, along Art Gallery Road, through the iron gates, past the bottle tree, and got safely home in time for tea. Quack, quack, quack. So now we're going to do our writing practice, writing the sound qu. And here we have a quilt on a bed and here it says qu for qu remember silent you qu for qu it alter beautiful patchwork quilt I can see okay so two things to remember qu is an around the face letter and it is a hanging letter so what we're going to do is pause the video and give you a chance to first of all go over the top of the ones that are done there and then do one, let's think, one, two, three, four, five, qu along the line there. Okay, so we're pausing the video now. Right, so now we're going to look at the picture 
say the word and put a circle around the sound qu. So here is a queen, a queen. So we put a circle around the qu for queen. Moving on, we have a quilt on the bed. Here is our qu for quilt. So we'll put a circle around our qu. And here, we're wanting to be quiet. So here's a person with a finger to a lip saying be quiet. So we'll put our circle around qu for quiet. And now we have one, two, three queens. So we'll put a circle around our qu for queens. There we are. Now, here we're going to do some of our own writing. At least two, I think, under each picture. So here are our queens. Now remember, qu is an around the face letter. You might like to look at how I do this one before we pause the video. Around we go to the other ear, down under the chin, down through the floor, and Queenie kicks her leg up. Okay, so we'll pause the video for a moment. So now you should have some most beautiful qu under the picture. So qu for queens, qu for quiet, and qu for queen, one queen. Now, here is where you practice listening very carefully for the qu sound in the sentences I'm going to read. First of all, I'll read the, the top sentence here, just in normal English. The queen went quite quickly. And now, listening for the qu, the queen went qu quite quickly. So put a circle around those qu, the queen went qu quite quickly. And now the bottom one says, the quiet quads sat on a quilt. Now quads are four babies born at the same time from the one mother. We're used to twins, but quads are when there are four. Um, quads, quad is a, a shortened word for quad tuplet, but we say quads for short. And I was thinking of six or four of them, or are sitting on a quilt, they're probably not really going to be very quiet, are they? But anyway, that's what it says here. The qu quiet qu quads sat on a quilt. Another thing I want you to notice is that we always have this silent U. The qu quiet qu quads sat on a qu ilt, quilt. So now we'll put a circle around the qu, but of course if you're writing qu, you have to remember to write the silent U, the a uh sound. Okay, so that's very good work and that is the end of our lesson for today.